Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. This morning, my brothers and sisters, is the final Sunday of Great Lent. And if we have been paying attention all of these weeks, way back when we started the Triodion period, it has all been for a purpose. In this morning's gospel, we see the two apostles, James and John, go up to Christ and they ask him for something special. They say to him, Master, teacher, we want you to do for us whatever it is that we ask. And Jesus says to them, well, what do you want me to do for you? And they say, when you enter into your kingdom, when you are sitting on your throne, grant us that we may sit one at your right hand and the other on your left in your glory. These two apostles, good men, for sure. What they wanted was to be honored by God. What they desired from God was to enter into heaven. And Christ responds, are you able to be baptized with the baptism that I'm going to be baptized? Are you able to drink the cup that I will be drinking? A few weeks ago, Christ said, if you wish to follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. Again today, he says, are you able in fact to do what I have to do? in order to enter into heaven? And the answer, my brothers and sisters, is they and we both answer, yes, we are able. But I would add, if we desire. Because if we do not desire to be with God, what is the likelihood that we are going to live the life that He wishes us to live? All of the themes of Great Lent have been preparing us to answer this question. Are we able to live the life that Christ lives? This is what it means to be a Christian. You see, the Orthodox Christian life is not about earning our way into heaven. It is not about winning the reward that we call heaven. We will be in heaven. Whether we want to be there or not, we will be with God in heaven. So the Orthodox life, my brothers and sisters, is to prepare us for that life. It is not to gain entrance into heaven. That is a very great difference between the Orthodox way of life and many of the Protestant Christians in the world. Many people spend their life trying to earn their way into heaven and they spend their life always afraid that God is not going to let them in. Well, my brothers and sisters, God's love is not about living afraid of Him. He has already granted us life in His kingdom. And so now the orthodox life is to prepare us for that reality. We think about the themes of Great Lent all of these many weeks. I'm going to go way back now to the Sunday of the publican and the Pharisee. I 
I dropped my glasses at Aleppo. <laughs> Signal me. All the way back to the Sunday of the publican and the Pharisee. It was the tax collector, it was the sinner who was in heaven, not the so-called holy Pharisee. The Sunday of the prodigal son, it was not the loyal son who was in heaven, but it was the sinner who chose to return to God who understood his sinful life. The loyal son was the one in hell. The Sunday of judgment when Christ says, you fed me, you clothed me, come into my kingdom. It was those who were able to see Christ in other people. They were the ones who went into heaven. The Sunday of orthodoxy, it was those who understood the scriptures. St. Gregory of Palamas, the second Sunday of Great Lent. It was those who brought other people to Christ. It was those who loved their friends enough to bring other people to encounter God. They were the ones who were prepared to understand and prepared to live in heaven. The Sunday of the Holy Cross, it was those who were able to deny themselves, embrace the struggle of life. Last week, the week, Sunday of St. John Climacos, it was those who recognized just how much we need God in our life. And in every one of these stories, it, their actions did not earn them heaven, but their hearts and their life prepared them to receive God's love. You see, my brothers and sisters, the orthodox way of life, from Sunday school to Greek school to Goya to the Philoptochos to the parish council meetings, everything we do as a church has only one purpose, to prepare us for heaven. If we don't want to be in heaven, then none of this makes any sense. If we do not want to be with God in heaven, fasting is useless. Embracing our struggle is useless. It's about preparing our hearts to receive the love of God because God does love us. He loves us so much that even though we deserve to die, He allows us to live forever. And today, the final Sunday of Great Lent, the Sunday of Mary of Egypt, a great sinner, a prostitute, a woman who was so consumed with her sin that when she one day attempted to enter into the church on the day of the Holy Cross, there was some kind of power that stopped her from entering the ecclesia, entering the church. And she said to God, allow me to enter into your house and I will change my life. She was able to enter into the church and venerate the Holy Cross of Christ. And in response for that gift, she spent the rest of her life, 40 years, living in the desert by herself. Even the wild animals came up to her because she had become so encompassed by God's love. One story says that a lion dug her grave for her. 
My brothers and sisters, there is nothing in our life that we can do that God cannot forgive. There is nothing that might be stressing us. There is nothing that we might be encountering in life that is too much to keep us from heaven, except one thing, our own desire. And so our Lord gives us this final reminder of Great Lent to welcome the good news of God's love and to take our life and to truly begin living today like we are practicing for heaven. When we get to heaven, my brothers and sisters, life is not going to be a golf course. Life is not going to be a rose garden. Life is not going to be a good day fishing. Life is going to be the divine liturgy. If you don't believe me, open the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, chapter 6. The prophet Isaiah saw God in heaven, and he saw the divine liturgy, the incense, the candlesticks, the altar table, the throne of God, everything that we have in this church is to prepare us for what we are going to experience for all eternity. So I like to tell people, if we don't like being in church, we're not going to like being in heaven. It kind of changes the way we think about the divine liturgy, doesn't it? It's that great gift from God. And this is why it brings me such joy when our church has people standing in the aisles like it does today, where we gather once a month for one family liturgy. And I know that we're crowded today. I know that other Sundays when we have our two liturgies, we have a little bit of elbow room. But wouldn't we rather be one family together? Entering into the kingdom of heaven as one family instead of them and us? This is what it means to be a church. To lift each other up, to love each other, to cry with each other. We're going to have memorials today. To laugh with each other to live in that true unity that is only possible with God's love. This is the message that the church has been giving us all of these Sundays. So when we gather here next Sunday for Palm Sunday, we will be able to open our eyes and open our voices and praise the King of Kings. And we will sing Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We're going to sing these great praises. I invite you, take this last week to prepare yourselves. Fast as the church teaches us to fast. Not as we choose to fast, but as the church teaches us to fast. Pray as the church teaches us to pray. Come to church as the church teaches us to worship. Because the church is offering us these opportunities not to control us, but to prepare us for heaven. And this is why Christ says, do you really know what you're asking? My brothers and sisters, do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to experience all eternity as God's love? Do you want to experience that as heaven? Then prepare your hearts from now. 
live the life of the church from now and by God's grace when we enter into his kingdom we will feel his love as eternal comfort and we will not experience the judgment of hell glory to God for all things Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.